and gentlemen, it is Over the Edge, your Pat Pack, right here on Smithfield Street. Teddy Horvitz, our clubhouse. I love what they do. Take a look way up there. They're going to be coming all the way down here. And we're going to go over now and say hi to Teddy Horvitz. So stay with us. This is one of the things that I look forward to all year because they do such good helping people deal with cancer. And I don't think there's anybody who is watching this that hasn't dealt with it in one form or another. I love Teddy Horvitz. I love our clubhouse. They've got a brand new location in Westmoreland County. But as I showed you moments ago, it's over the edge from $1,500 to toss your boss and $2,500. It all goes to help people through some very difficult times. And Teddy joins us right now. This is an incredible event. This is going to be an amazing day. And I think the thing that we need to stress more than anything, it's all about people that need help dealing with cancer, right? Hi, Rob. How are you? I'm good. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. So, yes, this is our third year doing Over the Edge. We're so excited to be back at the Oliver Building this year. And um, like you said, it's a wonderful, fun event, but it's about our mission, which is um, providing comfort care and support to those who are touched by cancer. So we're starting off, we have a couple people coming down now, and throughout the day up until about 1.30 or 2, we'll be sending people over the edge. Now listen, right across the street, Lily, just point this way, Lily is shooting this for us. That's the chicken coop, that's where I belong. Bark, bark, bark. Now they're going to be partying here all day. Explain about the chicken coop and the block party and all the other stuff that's going to be happening. So for those two, those people who are too chicken to repel, we have the chicken coop. Um, not everybody wants to step up and over. Like you said, it's uh, people had to raise a minimum of fifteen hundred dollars, which we understand is really um, not easy. But we ask them to step into the shoes of our members every day who face um, face cancer and face a fear. So they they go up there. They the fundraising could be a fear, fear of heights. You can know, people have a fear of heights, but they get up there and they're like, look, if these people can um, face face cancer, we can do this. You know, look into the eyes of fear for a couple minutes and go up and over the edge. Well, as you can hear in the background, they're hard at work. Downtown Pittsburgh, our great mayor, Bill Peduto, they continue to revitalize and reconstruct this great city. But one thing's for sure, it's all about building a strong future and helping people stay together through very difficult times. Talk about, in closing, Teddy, some of the things that you guys do to help people who are dealing with cancer, family, friends, and the individuals themselves. Absolutely. We work with everybody who's touched by cancer, whether it's kids, teenagers, parents, um, adults, men, women. And we provide um, uh, educational workshops, health and wellness classes, um, such as yoga and Reiki. We do educational lectures. We have programs um, specifically designed for kids and kids who have a parent with cancer. Um, we do, we have support groups, obviously. And um, lots and lots of other things. Our calendar is full of amazing, free things. Everything we do is one a lot of people helping, especially volunteers. Can people actually step up and become a part of our clubhouse to help you out? They sure can. They just have to go to ourclubhouse.org. They can um, click on donate, or if they're interested in becoming a member, click on um, become a member, um, how to join. And like I said, everything's free. So um, we do count on donations, and our, our generous friends out there in the community who support us. All right, give me a hug. I love what they do at our clubhouse. Over the edge, all day downtown Smithfield Street, the Oliver Building. It'll be one of the best things you've ever done.